Hey everybody, welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2 and the Far Shores update. We're back for another character. We got Lady Jane the, the sixth. Gotta get my Roman numerals down here. The sixth, Sir Ryan the fifth, or Sir James the third. Probably not Sir James the third because I value my life too much to do a pacifist run this early in an episode. Maybe later in the episode, but not this early. Uh, we will do a Valkyrie, I believe, because the nostalgic trait's not that bad. Obsessive crushing disorder sounds okay. Breaking things restores mana. We could use a lot of mana then. Fireballs are pretty good spell. All things considered. Let's do it. And uh, we're still on our quest to face down the the boss of the, the Kurgi. We're going to be heading back that way. Oh boy. Some choices. Nothing I can unlock with the blacksmith right now, which is interesting. Raises spell crit chance. This is extra health gained from meat. Increases mind. This is my final upgrade for health. Or do I start looking towards the future and get this gold transfer up? Be up to 6% with this one. Um, I think the more important one to get is this one first. Because you get more money faster to max out that gold savings. Let's do this. So we need 4,000 for the next one. Right now we have 7% living safe gold transfer right now. So we save 7% on every run. Uh, that's pretty much all my cash, though. Nothing else I can do with it. So, all right. We have the Breaker and Nostalgic trait here. Um, okay, let's do it. It's going to look a little timey, a little blurry. Hopefully everyone at home is okay with that. The cutscene here, though, is still, still fine, though. Oddly enough. They didn't mess with that one. So it's been a couple days since I recorded this. They had the Thanksgiving break in the middle there. Took some time off. Just doing some streams and that kind of thing in the evenings. Doing streams every Friday and Saturday night now, if you didn't know. At a little 11.30 central time, which is the best time for me, actually. So I, I kind of just hope people will show up. And actually, people have. So I'm okay with that. Um, getting a lot of people from the uh, from overseas in the morning, it sounds like. And, uh, you know. Oh, God. Well, I still have, I still, it looks like I still have the retribution thing on. I want to get rid of that. The downward strike doesn't do the extra jump that the... That the uh, resonant kick can do. That go kick. So I'll get an extra boost off of that. But I do get more damage. Oh, I missed that. So there is some stuff that's tough to see here. Oh my God. I didn't see that. That is going to be a problem. Oof. Okay. That's like all my armor gone. Okay. That sucks. That's going to be really tough to see. With those red, 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 uh, glowy things there. See how you like it. Has me your own fireball right back at you. It's not fun, is it? Getting fireball shot at you. Yeah, stuff's really tough to see with this. Now that I'm now that I'm in it, and it's 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 really tough to see actually. There's a lot going on here. I think if I was in a normal situation here, I would be fine. There's also just a lot in general going on in this room. And I think we're through it, though. Worth it. The music's kind of creeping out, too. I have, this is not going to be a good run. I can already tell. Because there's so much going on. It's very tough to see. Oh! We got a big zombie there. Oh, what do you got on that side of me? How'd you get over there? Come on, some health, please. Any bit of health would be good. Dog, really? Okay. This sucks. All right.
Oh, okay. Got lucky there. Where's the timing? Wanted to bounce off of this to get that out of the way. All right, we have Icarus Wings. I don't think so. Or the Ivy Seed. I don't think so either. Okay. Not liking either one of those. I think it'll be very tough to see the boss fight here too. So even if we do get through this... Oh my God, never mind. I, it's just not going to work. For whatever reason, that is just so tough to see. It it, it really surprising, actually. Okay. So we've had pretty good runs in the past with the archer, uh, with the ranger, rather, in the boss fight. The body buffet is pretty good for staying alive. The ranger being up, uh, they have low health, but they don't, do have a lot of advantages, I think. All right, let's do this. Um, let's do this because I think we can also get, if we get some levels up with it, we can get some extra strength for all of our characters, which will be helpful. Uh, we're at the point of just getting a couple things every, like one or two things, maybe. Two things is pretty rare, actually, just one thing. All right. Let's go. No money to really turn in. Oh, we have Icarus Wings. I didn't look at the traits of this character. So Icarus wings might be an issue because the jumping is so limited. We should have four jumps now. Yeah. So we just jump all day, which I guess could be useful in the right situation. Let's go back to the Kurgi. Hopefully we find our exit door quickly this time around. That's the other big things. I have to get to the exit door before I get low on health. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to break these things in here just in case. We do get some health from them eventually. Oh my god. See, that sucks. I need to like... Oh my god. I need to mess with the perks on this character a little bit too. Next time we go. Because I think the retribution is not quite what I need right now. Well, there's some meat at least. All right. Got some good timing on that one. So if we get a lot of XP from this this uh, fight, we'll uh, get a nice upgrade here for this character. I think that's the, the from what we've seen, the, the bonuses apply to all characters, giving us a reason to play with everybody. Um, giving us a reason to level up this, uh, ranger. Oh god, I gotta get used to the small jumps. I try to play things so, uh... Carefully now, like, my, like conservative with my jumps, because I have the double jump now. I don't usually, usually waste more than one jump when I don't need to, you know? I do exactly the number of jumps I need. Which is a different number now. How did that hit me? God. All right, we're not going to get anywhere today. I can feel it. That was just stupid. I shouldn't have been down there. Yeah, the, the Icarus wings are not my favorite. This is not a dead end. As long as we get enough XP to level up, it'll be worth it to take this character at least, though. Don't know if we will. Honestly, Icarus Wings are a hindrance. More than help me. Woo! I knew that was going to happen. Oh, really? Okay. They're just not getting it together with this character. The Icarus Wings were not going to be good for this boss fight anyways. Even though the Archer is good, 
I should have paid attention to what their, their trades were. So let's, let's look more carefully this time around. Stressed, not great. Antique is very good. So overall, that could be okay. Osteogenesis Imperfecta is not good. One hit death. Uh, this is where we go. Extra health and eating meat against health and extra health for opening chests. So that's that's what we have to do. That one. This will definitely be a better run. Um, we, didn't, we got nothing that time around. There's nothing to show for it. How close are we to getting anybody leveled up here? Is the next, or what bonuses are we getting actually here? Ranger's getting three strength, three percent strength bonus. Um, the mage is getting two percent intelligence, so mage we actually are behind on now. Valkyrie have taken the most, it seems, or done the most with, or just been the most best with. It's hard to say if I'm just taking these things the most, or if I'm getting like the, the the most success with those characters. This is the big question there. Because I am taking the Valkyrie pretty frequently because it was new to this update, but then I'm also doing okay with it. It's a fairly rounded character to play with which might just say something to the kind of character it is or it might say something to the you know the kind of pairing of traits like this character can do well with a variety of traits possibly all right no mistakes this time around Almost had it. Okay, so some some mistakes this time around, but not a whole lot of them. <laughs> we'll we'll set our sights a little lower. No mistakes, maybe maybe a bit off more than I could shoot there, but some mistakes, totally totally fine. I like that we can attack with this character through things. I like that we have the downward strike attack. I like that even though we have the echo kick and don't always want to do the echo kick, we can now. Revert back to the, the Valkyrie's downward strike and it's um, just the lower version. Oh, hi there, guy. I was almost done. Nice. I was hoping for uh, the metal there instead of the blood, but that's okay. Yeah, that could be that could be part of the reason why this character is so good is that it has a good through wall ability. Now, eating meat even when I don't need it is okay for this character because it gives me a max health bonus, and that also will help us buy more uh, relics as we need them too. So I don't have to hold anything back really. I can just, just break everything, get the meat from those, get uh, all the upgrades I can right away. Don't have to worry about saving things to break for later. Defeat all enemies. I can think I get this far through walls. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, I can't do this then. We need the right set of traits for this. Yeah, not going to happen. Nice recovery there. Almost dropped down too soon. We done okay. All right. So where have we been? We have to go down all the way back to the beginning now, and relative in relative safety, I think. Have we read all of the notes for this? Yet. Have we read all the notes from here yet? Dear Z, thank you for your speedy reply. Where do I, when do I start? Okay, so seems like we may have read all of the notes now. That's a that's a really short one. Oh nice. Got another word there just in time. Very nice. We're doing great on money already. It's an interesting development. Yeah, I think this is why this character does so well for us. It's just, it's just overall. 
I like this attack too. One more of those. Good. And we got a uh, little bit of the red stuff. Not too bad. All right, we got a good thing going here. Gotta remember to keep him shut down. All right, this is for a relic up here. It is opening chest restores health, which you already have. If I remember correctly. So I don't know if that would do, it was more health then. We can stack those things, which is actually pretty cool. I always love that in uh in some games when you can do that kind of thing. Oh, really? That hit hard too. Well, killing, uh, opening chests restores some health, so that's pretty good. It's a good thing for this area, too, because there's a lot of chests sitting around. There's not a whole lot of health sitting around. Oh, boy. Oh, really? Well, overall, I think we're doing okay still. Max health up. We get a little more health there too trick that thing I don't know how much health we're actually getting from each uh, meat we find I don't need to open that chest so that's another thing too is I can I can have a nice um, planned health bonus if I wait to open chests until I need them. So I should wait on that because I don't get I don't get the health bonuses from that. Just from eating meat. Um which is fine. But now I can save that there. Heal back when I need it. Okay. Do I need to do that? Should I get in there even? I mean, that's not too bad. All right. Okay. Oh, face the right direction. There you go. This is a good... Oh, really? I got back to full health there for a second and then lost it again immediately. Oh, really? Huh? Okay. More max. So it's like 12 points of health for each piece of uh, meat I eat. It's really not too bad. Now I don't need this chest here. I also shouldn't go fight the boss without opening them though. Even if I don't need the health because I don't want to like miss any new armor or anything like that. I was going up here. All right, so 24 points down but get bonus damage to enemies with an effect. Now I do have a spell that generates an effect, 
So I could do 15% more bonus damage to enemies by hitting them with the spell first. That might actually be very, very worth it. Let's do it. All right. Now we start we just do the quest for meat and get ourselves uh, healed up. We're not in bad shape here. Oh, we got the chest right here too, which is nice. Free money. And now I'm going to go back and get that silver chest back over here. Um, because we shouldn't leave that behind. Even if I don't need the health. Because that's why. Get an ammonite chest. Very cool. Okay. So we're ready for the boss. I think I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Um, I could go around looking for relics maybe, but I feel like it's not going to make that big a difference. Uh, our strategy is hit him. Wait, look how much money I have. The strategy here is get him with the spell and then hit him as much as I can. The spell will inflict fire damage. And I know how to deal with the, the enemies, so this could be very, very good. We got a lot going for us here. I love the way this, this boss looks, the Keeper of the Forest. Nama. So we got to just dash on these. And oh, oh, I almost got through that. Two can play that game, bud. It's okay. underneath it oh my god that's so close every hit we're getting enough health back just about to uh keep this thing going here too halfway down this is the one i think this is the one. Oh, this is gonna be different this is gonna be different okay i remember how to do this though we just gotta kind of get ready for all these this one over here is gonna be the first to go Oh man, we might not make it. We always have the option of just avoiding. Oh my God, this is bad. Play cool. I'm gonna knock this one down and then I'll be set to do some damage again. Okay, this is kind of tricky. Oh, damn it. We had it. Oh, man. Doing so well on that that's bot fight. <sighs> okay. That was very good. That was very good. We had a chance there. We had a real chance there. All right. No traits. Wind wall is not the most useful there. Stubbing your toe may lead to cardiac arrest. No immunity window after taking damage. That sucks. That means I get hit multiple times by one thing very easily. Um, for this fight, very low health, very low mana pool, talent costs mana. Oh man, maybe. We do so much better with uh, the Valkyrie, but I'm going to try the mage out. We did very well there though for that run. Uh, let's go back to the skill tree. There's things beyond the docks here you can buy. So we get the ammonite chest. We can afford it. And we can get the unity, whatever it might be. Um, maybe. We have the cape. We have the sword. We have a unity level of 15 right now, so that's not going to work. Sanguine cape. Sanguine lifesteal. Not going to get the level 50 with that. Um, 
Let's, let's try maxing out our damage and health. Good there. Mind magic damage up with the Scholar Cape. And bonus focus. Focus is crit chance. So maybe Scholar stuff might make sense for this character. Don't want the lower strength necessarily though. I need one more thing on for the... There we go. I had the Sanguine, I think, before. Oh, yeah, Ammonite, but that's okay. We'll lose, we'll lose a Scholar. It's not that bad. We 20 less armor, but it gives us bonus focus, which is huge. I think. I hope. Um, This isn't that much little of health, actually. It's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Um... Yeah, we still have money left? Holy cow. Alright, let's hold on a second. Yeah. Ta talent damage up, sure. Let's do it. That maxes that one out then. Alright, we'll do one more run here for this episode. Let's go. I think we got a chance. Even with the mage, I think we got a chance. I just think I just gotta be more patient with my attacks. Pay attention to where those, uh, those red things are at. Other than that, we did, a, we did a pretty good there. We had, a, we had a real chance on that one. Well, that's not a great start because there's food. Now, again, here, I got to remember to... Oh, geez, really? Oh, my God. This is dashing like crazy. Now I need the health so I can start breaking again. I gotta remember to use spells pretty frequently for this character because Manda's comes so easily back to us. Definitely got to make sure you use a lot of spells. Both of my spells are pretty useful, though. This wasn't light on fire. This one does. Trying to get him with this so I can get my mana back a little bit. There we go. Of course, it didn't drain very long on that guy. There we go. Back to full. That way I can use spells when I need them. Also, this is great for this. Same as the Valkyrie, you can attack through walls. And when enemies can't attack back, we're in good shape. The distance thing is a problem sometimes. too bad. I think you know, some some classes should have a base gold gain uh modifier maybe. Like mage should just automatically get a little bit more. like that. And? Hey, Warden Trinket. We haven't had that yet? I find that surprising. I guess we didn't. Why is this guy inside the wall? Does that mean there's a secret here? There'd have to be.
Where would it be? No, there's no way unless it's from the top. Unless it's just bugged. Yeah, I think we've been running into some weird generation uh, errors this time around. Trouble here. This might save my skin on a later one here. Oh, missed it totally. One more time. Oh, I'm over the top again. Let's just do that then. Okay. Thread that needle. Oh, really? I get knockback for that, huh? Okay. This might just be a room I leave. Oh, I didn't see that guy coming. That took a lot of damage on that one. Do the mages take more damage? Ooh. That was pretty good. Somehow avoided everything there. Wow. 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 Okay. That's going to be it. Hey, rank up at least. That's something. That's something. In a pretty decent try against the boss this episode. So, um, Valkyrie was very good. This is not a great negative. Hero complex, yourself sacrifices, self sabotage. You can't heal with this character at all, ever. But you get 2% more health. With the cook, that's not good because the 200% health is like like less than 100 health still. I'm fairly certain. So it's going to be Valkyrie or uh, the Duelist next time. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back for another one soon. Hope you're enjoying Rogue Legacy 2 still. I know I am, and I'll bring it back for more very soon. See you then.